Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion with uh, maximum power transfer theorem uh, with circuits involving uh, dependent sources. So here is another circuit and uh, here this is the dependent source which is a voltage dependent current source. This is the important variable here is voltage across this 4 ohm uh, resistor voltage drop now uh, we have to find the load resistance for maximum power transfer so the usual thevenin equivalent circuit approach we'll use so we'll redraw the circuit six volt eight ohm four ohm This VTA this is open circuited. This is VA. And instead of writing it here, let us write it here. This is 0 0.75 VA. Okay. So now, here, an important thing to notice here is that. VTH is equal to minus VA or we can say VA is equal to minus VTH this is important thing because the polarity is opposite as compared to VTH here with VA so here this voltage here we can say that this voltage here if we take it as VTH okay here let us say this is VTH as compared to this. If we apply KCL here, let us say this is downward flowing current. This current direction is like this and this is like this. Then the KCL equation will be VTH, this is ground, VTH minus 0 by 4 then plus VTH minus 6 by 8 plus 0 0.75 VA is equal to 0. Now 0 0.75 we can write it as 3 by 4 okay we can write it as 3 by 4 it will be easier for us to handle it and VA we can write it as minus VTH so this becomes 3 by 4 VTH minus 3 by 4 VTH so now 8 this is 2 VTH plus VTH minus 6 minus 6 VTH is equal to 0. That implies okay minus 3 VTH okay 3 VTH minus, minus 3 VTH minus 6 is equal to 0. That implies VTH is equal to minus plus 6 uh, minus 3 which is equal to minus 2 volt okay minus 2 volt okay VTH is equal to minus 2 volt so we have got VTH is equal to minus 2 volt now we have to determine RTH So now we have to determine the thevenin resistance. We have calculated VTH is equal to minus 2 volt. Now we have to determine the thevenin resistance, deactivating the independent sources. So here the 6 volt voltage source will be short circuited. So we have to redraw the circuit again. Okay, 8 ohm. 
this is short circuited 4 ohm zero point seven five VA and here we have to connect an external excitation let's say one volt okay and we have to find this current I okay now here an important thing to notice is that VA is equal to minus 1 volt okay because the 1 volt polarity and this VA polarity they are opposite so this is an important thing so let us say the voltage here is 1 volt okay because there is no resistor in between no drop 1 volt here so I will be equal to 1 by 4 okay plus 1 by 8 plus 0 0.75 VA 0 0.75 VA we can write 0 0.75 as 3 by 4 and VA as 1 volt so it becomes 3 by 4 into 1 which is equal to minus 3 by 4 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 minus 3 by 4 which is equal to LCM 8 so it is 2 plus 1 minus 6 which is equal to minus 3 by 8 ampere I is equal to minus 3 by 8 ampere now RTH here will be 1 volt by I ampere which is equal to 1 by minus 3 by 8 which is equal to minus 8 by 3 ohm now this is very interesting negative resistance so we'll i will explain it okay so for now just understand rth is equal to minus 8 by 3 ohm now as per the statement of maximum power transfer theorem for maximum power to be transferred to the load the value of the load resistance should be equal to RTH which is equal to minus 8 by 3 and the maximum power transfer PRL max will be equal to VTH square by 4 RTH which is equal to minus 2 square by 4 into minus 8 by 3 so let us calculate the value which is equal to 2 square 4 into 8 which is equal to minus 0.375 watts negative power and negative resistance so you know there is a, a system which is called as power being absorbed and power being transferred and we have come across this negative resistance thing in uh, the superposition Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuit also where the Norton equivalent the Norton resistance the Thevenin resistance came negative so there also I explained that normally what happens is that suppose we have a voltage source and we have a resistor current flows and we always put the sign convention as like this plus and minus where V is equal to IR so here what means that this resistor R with this polarity it is absorbing power and suppose we say 
that we take the opposite okay like this the current flows like this here also the resistor is absorbing power because the current is flowing from positive to negative but here if we reverse this like this this means that the resistor is supplying power because the current is flowing outwards from the positive terminal and flowing into the negative terminal see here this voltage v is supplying power the current is flowing outward away from the positive and towards the negative okay like this away from positive towards the negative but in the resistor it is flowing into the positive and away from the negative resistor r in this case is absorbing voltage v is supplying so normally the convention is when current flows in the opposite direction okay away from positive towards the negative it means it is supplying that element is supplying so here when we say negative power it means that that resistor is actually supplying power so it will be clear when we'll discuss uh, you know other circuit theorems especially the telegence theorem where this power absorption power supplying we will come across so that whole theorem is based on that so it will be clear so for now you understand that when the resistor is negative and the power it is coming as negative it means that it is supplying okay so this is the fourth question